Hi everyone, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is some of my favorite items from the Dollar Tree. And this could almost be considered an anti-haul, I guess, even though I'm not entirely sure what that means, because I didn't just go out and buy these things. Like this isn't something I just bought and I'm showing you because um, I haven't been going out as much shopping. Um, but these are items from the Dollar Tree that I really have enjoyed and I would buy again and I think they're a good deal and good quality and so I want to share with you in case you're interested in buying these same things. And this is just kind of a hodgepodge of things because like I said it's stuff I already had. It's nothing that I went out and just bought. So the first thing I want to share with you, these little glass containers and I know Glassware items in general are a great deal at the Dollar Tree. These are really nice quality and I use them for my makeup brushes and, and lip glosses and things like that. So I have several of them. And then just recently, um, my daughter decorated some of these for me. She made these into, uh, put like a little cactus on it. Isn't that cute? Because they actually had these glass paintbrush pens at the Dollar Tree too. Now I don't know if they still have these but they can be decorated and I thought that was really cute. So something to keep in mind, little DIY project if you want. But I have these setting out on my bathroom counter and I, they're great for storage and they're just, they're really nice quality and you can decorate them. Okay, keeping in line with that theme um, is these little plastic um, art palettes. Now I've been dabbling in art um, and I in particular like to use watercolor paints and so, um, I just find these really, really handy um, to mix up colors. And um, for a dollar, there's a pack of one, two, three, four, five, oh, it says right on there, I think six, sorry, six of them right here. Um, and so, you know, if it gets really worn out, you can pitch them. Um, so I just keep several packs of these around and I'll mix up colors. You And I have rinsed them out and reused them. You can definitely reuse them, but I just think this is great for that because I'm not a professional artist as much as I would love to think that I am, I'm not but um, this is a very handy um, tool to have for me to mix up those watercolors. Okay, another one is a, a kind of a different item that I don't think maybe you think about at the Dollar Tree, um, but I just had a new discovery about this, and that is books. Now, I do think it can be really, really hit or miss what you find there, but you can find good books. And as much as this pains me to say, because um, if you've watched my channel, you know that I myself am an author, a published author. I've written a book um, that's available on Amazon. So the fact that these books are going for a dollar is kind of sad. But look at this book. Um, this is um, Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol, and it actually has two other stories in it too. I don't think maybe the camera is doing it justice, but like the binding has that gold, and it's just like one of these like really nice, books with nice um, pictures in it and to me this is more of a if you call it a keepsake book but I know it's holiday themed and I actually got this like nowhere around Christmas time but I, I just thought it was a really nice um, addition to have just laying around almost like a coffee book table I guess at Christmas time really nice quality and really sturdy and then another book that um, my daughter picked up to read was this one and again um, this one's called Satellite, but if you look at the back, um, what it actually retails for is a $17.99. And yeah, we got it for a dollar. So again, I can't say, I can't speak to every single book that's there, but that's true for anywhere, really. So if you like to read, especially now when you have time, check out the books at the Dollar Tree. It might be, a, it might be really worth your while. Okay. Next thing is kind of a throwback to when my kids were younger, but my daughter still likes, my youngest daughter still likes these. These magic towels, uh, they always have these, and I don't know, little kids in particular seem to like them, and you can get them in any character that's popular. So this is um, from Frozen. Sorry, I don't know why I paused on that, but you know, these are the washcloths that expand when they get wet. Such an easy stocking stuffer, Easter basket stuffer, things like that. And kids just love them. Party favors. So they, I, I don't think I've ever been there when they don't have them. Um, it's funny, I don't buy them anymore, but the last time I was there, my daughter was with me. She actually wanted to get this. Go figure. And she's in high school. Um, and then this next group of things I've mentioned before because I do like them so much, but um, I love getting the Yardley soap there. Um, 
I just, it's a nice soap. They always smell good. And they even carry some like fun limited edition, like this one. This was a limited edition vanilla buttercream. Smells lovely. We love the oatmeal and honey or one of those too. But they have lavender. They have all sorts of scents. So really love getting this there. And they also have been carrying this brand called Bolero. Um, and I've mentioned these items before. They, they always have some assortment of bath and body type works from this brand. And everything so far that I've had from there is really nice. This is a vanilla sugar and raspberry hand cream. I always keep a small hand cream like this in my bathroom drawer um, and, and use it. And so these are really handy. They're not too big and perfect for the drawer. Um, but I'm telling you, they even make soaps. They, um, they make soaps, bath bombs, face wipes, uh, you know, bubble bath, all things like that. So I, and if you look on Amazon, they go for quite a bit more. So I have not yet been disappointed. And I believe this actually came in a double pack, if I'm not mistaken, for a dollar. So definitely worth checking out in the bath and body section, this Bolero brand. Um, and then the last thing that's on my list of favorite items from the Dollar Tree, and again, if you've watched any of my previous Dollar Tree hauls, I've mentioned these things, but that is the makeup. Again, it is very hit or miss what's there, what I like. I'm not saying I like all Dollar Tree makeup because I don't, um, but I've had items that are very much worth the money. And just so you know, if, if you're not familiar, you can buy name brands at the Dollar Tree. You just really never know what you're going to get. Um, you know, they have Elf, they've had, they've had Wet n Wild. Um, trying to think what else, but so, and again, I've, I've tried different things. In one of my travel, uh, get ready with me type of videos, I did say like I, I discovered something I really didn't like from there and that was the primer by LA Colors because LA Colors is a popular brand that they carry. Um, and some of their stuff I like, some of it, mm, not so much. And even across like eyeshadow, for example, I got this LA Colors eyeshadow palette from there and look how worn it is. I've obviously used it. I mean, it's it was called their one of their nude palettes and um, so this was a dollar and obviously I've used it, uh, and I've actually really liked it and it's been nice. Um, but I've had other LA colors eyeshadow I don't like as much. So I get, I don't know this one and I know I got it at the Dollar Tree. Um, it was called Glamorous in the Nude Family and has definitely been a hit. I mean, it's not my favorite favorite, but definitely well used and, and definitely worth a dollar. Also, I got this LA colors lip lipstick and the color sorbet and whenever I wear this I get so many compliments and this one feels good on I like how it stays I just this is really nice so um, thumbs up there and I've gotten other lipsticks there as well including wet and wild and speaking of wet and wild I not too long ago got these eyeshadow palettes and these have been great um, I, there was one more I got too so keep your eye out because uh, I don't know wet and wild eyeshadows are fine they're just like drugstore brand to me so um, you just kind of never know and it's like hidden treasures sometimes, but definitely worth the dollar price tag. So um, in a time where I'm trying to save money, not just save money, but really not spend money, um, I'm really reevaluating things that I have. And so the point of this video was to think about, okay, Dollar Tree is one place that is very affordable. And what do I have from there already that I really enjoy? So these were some of those things. So I hope it was helpful and I hope maybe if any of these are of interest to you, I'm pretty sure that they still carry all these items. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.